a very good evening to one and all thank you twilight talks for having me here today hello everyone i am sugandha sharma an academician a mentor a technocrat a tech entrepreneur a lifelong learner i strongly believe in the famous saying when the going gets tough the tough gets going i am a single parent because i chose to walk out of an abusive marriage i got married in 2011 in an arranged setup it took me 5 years to understand that i'm done now it took me 5 years to realize that i was being subjected to emotional mental financial and physical torment it took me 5 years to come out of the denial mode to understand that this is not normal to realize that i'm not being loved and respected in my marriage in my own home the first day when the abuse was extended to my child that was the day when i said to myself enough is enough that day i fled from my home in japan with my 3 year old kid and came back to my parents in 2016 Yes, it's a strong step. Yes, I'm still fighting my case in judicial court. It's been more than 6 years of the judicial fight. Yes, it's a big decision. But I chose peace of mind. I chose my self-respect. I chose my dignity. I chose our safety and a simple peaceful life. I didn't want to give my child that toxic environment. I came back to my parents' place and I had no clue what I'm going to do. The only thing on my mind at that time was I'm not going back. I didn't want my child to see me as a blanari. And so I completed my post-graduation. I did other upskilling courses. I got a job. My parents did not give up on me. They supported me at all times. My employers have been very supportive. My current employers are very supportive. My child's school, skilled, uh, you know, the teachers and the management were very supportive. My colleagues have been very kind and encouraging and extremely helpful. I keep struggling between a mom's role and a dad's role. I keep resisting court for my hearings. That doesn't stop me from going. It is stressful. It is painful. But you got to fight it. You got to be a fighter. A few things that I've learned during my journey. You know, we should always respect the people around us. We should be grateful for the blessings that we have. We should be hopeful that things will definitely change. We should never undervalue our relationships because that is our worst social currency. There are many a times you may feel like giving up. You may fall many a times. But remember, you are allowed to cry. You are allowed to share your sorrows with your near and dear ones. You are allowed to slow down. You are allowed to take a pause. But under no circumstance you are allowed to give up and quit. Learn to say no. A polite no has never harmed anyone. It took me 34 years to understand that. In fact, saying a polite no will save you from unnecessary emotional pain. Crawl, do that. If you wanna hop, please do that. If you wanna walk, please do so. But keep moving forward. No matter what your speed is, just keep moving forward towards sunshine. We often fail to rise and shine because of the char load, because of the samaj. You must identify. You must identify who your samaj is. the people who stood by you in the court the people who gave strength to you the people who helped you in your difficult times they are your samaj 
when i was going through the abusive phase you know no samaj came to rescue me in fact no samaj is paying my bills for the court fees no char log are paying for me and my son's bills so which samaj i should be afraid of or make my decisions based on their validations kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kehna hai na to unhe apna kaam karne do na aap apne goals pe focus karo I feel so blessed to have some amazing people in the journey of my life. And yes, I've also met a few souls in my life who have taught me very tough lessons. I'm thankful to them too. Because they taught me how to be wiser, how to be more patient, how to be more resilient. As a woman, I feel that it is very important to support our, our daughters, educate them, invest in their growth. educate our sons about gender equality educate them you know educate both sons and daughters to respect each other the true essence of gender equality in indian society you know we as women have been taught to be submissive we have been taught that the wife of the woman plays a role of keeping the family intact she is always expected to sacrifice for the sake of the family she is always expected to keep quiet to maintain the peace of the family isn't it my parents have been very liberal and they have never discriminated between me and my brother but for me my marriage changed my life forever there was a time when i was told by my ex husband that i could do nothing i was useless i could achieve nothing in my life I support and promote technology for all. I'm actively engaged in activities that aim at empowering communities through tools of technologies. Today, I'm actively engaged in events for women upliftment and normalizing single parenthood in India. I am an academician in higher education. I mentor female and male student communities. I'm seeing more and more female students getting admitted to technical courses. We keep organizing national and international hackathons where we see phenomenal female participation as developers and programmers. I'm also the state vice president for Uttarakhand Startup Council where we are working towards building an amazing ecosystem for women entrepreneurs from the valley and the hills so that more and more women take charge of their lives and become job creators. We have initiated Adi Shakti Club in our university to bring a platform that is led by women and powered by women. Yes, we do have he for she members that is the men who extend their support and contribute towards women empowerment. As a part of the Heal India movement, we have conducted drives for imparting menstrual hygiene and women intimate hygiene awareness and campaigns. At Success Tales, we cover women entrepreneurs and we offer them a platform to promote themselves. At Alpha ID Services, we aim to offer customized and affordable web support to new startups. What I want to say here is that if I can do it, you can do it too. Nobody can stop you except you yourself. Thank you for having me at Twilight Talks, and thank you for giving me a platform to share my.